Hello Internet, today we'll be making some psychedelic sound designs on the Benjen Neutron while taking advantage of its patch bay, which I've explained in my latest videos. So, for this, the first three sound designs are going to be from my series One Saw and One Filter, and then I'm going to be adding stuff to that, you know, with the patch bay. With that said, let's start. So, the first sound design I'm going to make is actually really simple is basically to send a normal saw wave into a low pass filter give it some resonance and then modulate it just a tiny bit with a fast LFO which means We got ourselves from a simple LFO filter and a saw this kind of twilight psytrancy lead. That's it's for the first sound design. I know we didn't use the patch bay, but actually I wanted to make the sound design to be the base for my next two sound designs. Which means, you've seen what I've done in here. Now, how about we'll modulate the frequency with the LFO and the sample and hold. What I mean is, let's take the, hmm, let's take the MIDI gate to the sample and hold clock. As I've already shown you in my other videos, it's just to synchronize it. Let's take the sample and hold, put it in the second attenuator. Let's take the second attenuator, put it in the sum B. Let's take the LFO, put it in the sum A, bipolar by the way, not unipolar for the LFO. And let's take the sum one, and put it in the frequency modulation. So now, what we basically have, we have summed the LFO and the sample and hold into one modulation signal, and now we can dose the LFO and the sample and hold with the attenuators. So basically, right, I have done something wrong. Uh, sample and hold, oh yeah, sure. The LFO, I then put it in the attenuator. Up. And now it's done. Now, let's send the NARP signal.
And here we have it, the second sound design. For the third sound design, I'm going to leave it just the way it is, but now I'm going to modulate the signal with the delay, which means I'll take the sample and hold and take it out from my attenuator. I'll put it in the multiplier. The first multiplier will go to the second attenuator, so basically the same effect. But the second multiplier will go to the delay time. And now with that, listen to what we'll get. We have just created random modulation on the delay time while having lots and lots and lots of repeats, basically like 75% or 80% feedback. You know, 12 o'clock mix, we got this really great psychedelic texture or maybe a lead. And that's pretty much it for the third sound design. Now, let's move on. For our fourth sound design, it's a bleep and blop uh, kind of sound design, which is, you know, known for the Eurorack. We're going to reproduce something like that, you know, on the neutron. I, I really don't know how to explain the sound design. Anyways, we'll stay on the saw. Uh, we'll modulate the pitch of the second oscillator. We're going to use only one oscillator and we're going to random modulate the filter just like we've done with the agile lead. Now we're going to get some other texture out of it. So first of all, let's take our MIDI gate and multiply it because I'm going to disconnect the first envelope from the VCA because I wanted to modulate the pitch. Multiplying the MIDI gate means that I can take one one output to the VCA CV, and as I've said, I want some random modulation, which means I need the sample on hold and I want it to be to get synced. I'll take the second signal and put it in my sample and hold clock. Now we have this, so basically boring signal. Now let's take the first envelope, put it in the first attenuator, and I guess now you know why I'm using the second, the first attenuator. Put it in the second oscillator. Let's see what we have now. And you know what? Before that, let me take the sample and hold and put it directly in the frequency modulation. Bandpass. One last thing, I've switched the, the second oscillator to sine because it's more of a blip and blop than a, just a squelchy random ARP. So. I've just added some 
filter envelope modulation, it'll add more randomness and more blip and blop. You know, without, with. So here's our beep and blop. And with that, this is the end of this video. Hope you've liked it. Have a great one.